Charles Piper here with a further update on the Goblin. As you can see, I've started coloring it in, adding some details. Um, it's early coat. Um, here you can see one of the hands jointed up, but not covered in latex yet. You know, each one has the little bones underneath, so when it does, uh, when it is animated, it'll, you know, like uh, have real. And you can see on this hand, it's not painted yet, but here it is, fully latexed up with um, veins in it. And then, in the back here, blocking the light, but you can see it has the kind of bones underneath structure going on. Um, everything's still a little lumpy, it's still wet, like that. Um, kind of getting some this eyebrow ridges in there to give it a kind of constantly happy or surprised look. Um... Little kind of red specks around the eyes. The pupils will be made out of a separate piece of clay, which I can move around to make it look, and there will be eyelids that blink. Um, going down the legs, no feet yet. Uh, it does have a nice old butt going on there, a little awkward and lumpy, but there it'll have like some rags around it, sort of like a like golem cloth, if you will. And uh, as for feet, that's the one thing here, which is going to be a bit of a bit of a thing right now they're just the wire armatures what I'm thinking of doing because this thing needs to support itself so I have these pair of old shoes which I don't know they might be too big it might look silly yeah it looks a bit silly but I might clay or latex over these shoes or something of about that size so there'll be a heavy support structure so it can stand up on its own um, or something like that we'll see oh it's got nos dark nostrils Dark Nostrils. That would be a good band name, right? No. But, um, it's coming along, you know, hopefully, I'd say, by the maybe end of this week or so, it should be ready to start animating. But there you go. That's the Goblin right now.